Hey everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. It's always a pleasure when you come by and um, we can be together during this video. So thanks so much. So if you are brand new, you've stu just stumbled upon my channel, welcome in. I hope you enjoy this. And if you are returning, welcome back. I so appreciate all of your support for my channel. Um, and if you have never subscribed to my channel before, there is a button right down here somewhere in the right hand corner. It's a little red button that says subscribe. Just click on that button and you can subscribe to my channel. So um, I am doing a product review uh, for fan sales. And if you're not familiar with a product review, what that is is fan sales has sent me um, a couple items that I picked out so that I can show it to you guys on my channel and I'll give you a review, an honest review. And um, I'm changing it up just a little bit. This is gonna be different. Um, I'm gonna do the review and then as I get into it, then I will tell you um, what else I'm gonna do, okay? So this is just a little bit different. So I hope you like it. So um, let me just move this off over to the side, okay? So if you're not familiar with fan sales, they have um, a drill. Random drill. Don't we always have a random drill? I find random drills everywhere. Um, anyway, so if you're not familiar with fan cells, they have diamond painting, diamond painting accessories. They have cross stitch, cross stitch accessories. Like cross stitch, they have uh, Spring Brand, uh, Mona Lisa, um, Joy Sunday uh, on um, the Diamond painting side, you know, they have small partials, they have square, round, um, AB paintings. So they have a lot of, lot of uh, nice things. So I'm gonna link their information down below in the description so you can uh, check that out. Um, and so I'm gonna show you, I was supposed to have three items in this bag, but the bag did have a hole in it. So, um, in fact, I'll sh I think you probably already noticed it. There's a hole here. There's also a hole on the other side. Um, well, I guess I can show you. It doesn't show my address here. But there's another hole here. And I have a feeling that the item fell out um, and got lost. Um, so let me go ahead and show you this first one. Um, now this I use for cross stitch and I use it for um, diamond painting. So let me take this out first of all. Oh, come on. It's always so hard sometimes to find the... There we go, I got it. So let me just show this to you. This is little Peter Rabbit. I think this is from Peter Rabbit anyway, or at least that's what they say it is. Um, this pattern actually comes in a cross stitch. I haven't seen it in a diamond painting, but what this is, it has a magnet on the back. So for a cross stitch, this is called a needle minder. And you put um, the top of this onto your Ada cloth, and then you have the magnet underneath, and then you can place your, um, your needle on it when you're not using it. Super handy. So it's called a cover minder in for um, diamond painting. And so that this will hold your cover sheet up. That's why it's called a cover minder. So this is really cool. I really like it. I really like these big ones um, a lot better than the little small cover minders. Um, to me, they, they work a whole lot better. So these are fabulous. And they're actually, I use them for my needle minders too. So this is a really good thing. So let me just move this off to the side here. Okay, now the next thing I wanna show you, this is storage. And I think we all um, have seen these before. And this is where a little bit of my twist is gonna come in in this video in just a second. So I'm gonna show this to you. This is a 30 bottle storage. And here you go, see, 30 bottles. This does not come with any accessories. 
because I really didn't need the accessories. Um, and these are the nice big bottles. I think they hold about 2,000 drills. Um, so these work out really nice. This is probably one of my favorite kitting up um, storage accessories. Uh, and I, I really do like these a lot. So this is great. And it has a handle. And I like it that I can zip it. So this is really cool. And it came with stickers. So I'm going to put that back here. So what I'm going to do, what the twist in this video is, I am going to be showing you. Now this is... This was from um, this was from a couple months ago that I showed this to you. It actually was from a, from back in October, and this is a beautiful hummingbird, isn't it pretty? And it comes with one second as I get take this out of the package. I can't do it one handed. I think I'm gonna have to come in a little bit more so you can see that better. There, now you can see it better. Isn't it beautiful? I love this. And I'm gonna pull you back out. I hope I don't get you seasick. And it comes with this stand. And again, I don't have my camera at the right angle for you to see this, but this is gonna stand up, you know, on a table or something like that. Isn't it pretty? So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna kit this up. Normally I don't kit up partials, but I thought I would just kit this up and I will complete this and I will show it to you at the end of this video, okay? So that is gonna be my, my, my little twist here. This is what we're gonna do. So uh, let me grab I'm sorry, I don't have scissors with me. I forgot, hang on. Hang on one quick second. Oh, oh, hang on a second. I gotta show you one more thing. Squirrel brain, squirrel brain, totally forgot. I gotta put this off to the side for just a minute, okay? And I gotta back this out just a hair because I wanna show you what the item is that is missing, okay? So what I ordered was um, a magnetic um, frame, okay? And it is similar to this magnetic frame that I wanna show you, okay? So basically it's two pieces. You have this piece and then you have this piece, okay? So you're able to just hang it on the wall. I have not trimmed this yet. I've been meaning to. I just haven't had a chance to do it. Um, but I wanted to show you what was in there, okay? So let me put that over on the side. So I'll throw the links to all three items uh, down below. And I'll also, if the hummingbird is still available, I will throw that link as well. So let's just kind of chat a minute We'll chat a minute. There is not very many colors on this at all. There is only uh, eight colors. Excuse me. I've got eight numbers and five letters. So we don't have very many at all. And like I say, normally with these, see how they're numbered? It's just like number one, two, like that. And I just do one color at a time. But I thought for just kicks and giggles and doing something different, I'm gonna kit it up, we'll talk, and um, then when I get done with this video, or um, at the end of this video, I'll have the completion so that you can see it. And this I thought was 30, but it is not. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it is. Six times five is 30. I can't do my math, guys. Oops. 
this. So I tell you, this is like the first time I've been able to sit down all day. It has been a crazy cuckoo day. How about you guys? Has it been crazy for you? It's been crazy for me. And I had to pick up my granddaughter from school today and take her to driver's training. I wanna, you know what? I should get a tray because I bet you I am going to be, like lazy retired granny would say, I'm gonna be a member of the Spill the Drill Club, which I already am here. Oh, yes, sorry. Yes, sir, Bob. Come on. I need to grab a tray, too. All right, what did I do with the lid? Oh, there it is. Silly me. Silly rabbit. Look at those pretty colors. Oh, this is a good angle for you to see it. Isn't that pretty? So that takes care of that one. It's Number one. Oh, and as usual, the dog is going to want to go outside. There you go. Grab me a tray here. So yeah, I've been super busy today. Stopped off at Subway and got us dinner. Did that. I'm gonna show you all the colors. Isn't that green pretty? Super pretty, huh? Um, so I did that. And uh, I've been, had to travel to another city for work. And um, so, again, I've been just super, super busy. And the thing that's kind of sad, and I got wanted to talk to you about this too, um, pretty gold. You know how I've been saying, you know, do one thing that your future self is going to thank you for? I did nothing today that my future self is going to thank you me for. In fact, I did stuff that I think my future self is going to say, you shouldn't have done that. Um, I actually ate at McDonald's this morning. Um, I just didn't have time to cook breakfast and um, that was not good. And I think this is probably a good point to bring up because we all, you know what, I'm going to lay that I'm gonna lay that over there so you have something pretty to look at. Um, we all can mess up, right? We all mess up. We all make mistakes. We're not perfect. We're human. Um, but our human reaction is to beat ourselves up. Or at least that's what my reaction is anyway, is to beat myself up and almost go, well, you know, why even do all this? Just go back to all my old habits, right? And it's like, no, I had one bad day. I had one bad day, one bad day right? I can just start up in the morning and start fresh and try again. And I need to look at all the good days that I was doing things that my future self is gonna thank me for. And so this could be applied to anything that, that you're doing or any habit that you're wanting to change. I mean, I know I have friends that, you know, want to quit smoking and, you know, they try and, you know, if they, you know, start smoking again and they just beat themselves up and it's like, no, you can try again, you know, or people that are, you know, dieting and they, they blow their diet, but they haven't really blown their diet. They're just being human, right? They are... It just life happens and it's okay so that's just one kind of point that I just wanted to to bring up is that stuff happens and then squirrel thought 
you know me, I, I switch from one topic to another really quick. I hope you keep up with that. I don't know where this is going from, but made me think of it, my little squirrel brain. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, you know, I do have a Facebook group, Diamonds by Tita. So if you haven't joined and you have a Facebook, you know, you're I'm just inviting you to go ahead and join. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of people that are posting and showing their diamond paintings. And um, if they have questions, they ask questions. And the group is really helpful, super helpful. Um, I am going to have an event coming soon. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to be yet. Um, but once my little pea brain can figure it out, I will let you know. I don't know if people want to do something in February since it's so close to February or if we should just wait till March. I'm not quite certain. But, oops. I can do that one-handed. So I'm kind of excited about this um, new format or it's a different format, maybe not new, um, a different format. Um, I think it's kind of neat. You can see me, you know, actually kidding up and um, you can see a finish. Cause I don't think this is gonna take me very long to finish it. I'll try to get it done tonight. I don't know if the video will be up tomorrow. Uh, tonight is Tuesday. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna be up Wednesday or Thursday. It's just going to depend upon when I get this all finished. Oh, look at these guys. Aren't they pretty? I love these pink ones. Oh, this is going to be fun to do. And I think they're going to go, those big pink ones, I think they're going to go all along the edges here. Oh, I'm kind of excited to do this. This is gonna be really, really, really good. And we'll see if Fan Cells kinda, kinda likes this setup too. We'll see what they say. And I'll be able to give feedback for the, um, the storage containers. Actually, I think they're, they're really nice. Um, the lids go um, on and off just fine. Um, the zipper was nice. Um, I thought it was, it's real good. So, so far I think it's great. So that's D, I want to show this to you again. Really pretty. And these are the marquees that I'm doing. You can see the marquee again. Oh, those are kind of, you see the back. You put them in the jar and then you can see the pretty colors. Move this off up to the side. I like the special shapes, except I can't really pour them in the bottle. That didn't work very good, now did it? There we go. And now I am all kitted up and I am ready to go. So um, I wanna thank you very much for hanging out with me for a minute and give me, uh, it'll be just a couple seconds for you. Uh, it'll probably be a couple hours for me. Um, I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna bring you the finish of this beautiful, beautiful hummingbird. It's just gorgeous, I just love it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Be right back. Hey, everybody, I'm back and the project is finished. Isn't she just beautiful? Oh, I just love this hummingbird. And it looks perfect sitting on my dresser in my bedroom. I absolutely love, love, love it. Super easy to do. It took me probably about an hour and a half maybe to complete it. And it's just, oh, 
just a pleasure. Um, highly, highly recommend it. I had tons of extra drills. I had no trouble, very little trash. It was an absolute pleasure to work on. So I'll put the link down below if you want to um, do that. And it also, you can set it up as well. Although my light is really bad because I'm filming at night. But I want to bring that back so you can kind of see it. So you can stand it up. Or you could, if you wanted to hang it up on the wall, you could do that too. Um, but I think you guys can see what it looks like a lot better if I'm laying it flat like that, okay? So anyway, take care. This was really a fun project to do. Um, let me know if you liked me doing it this way. So take care, everybody, and remember you are perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. Okay, everybody, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.